Hey guys, it is Organic Beauty and I am back, yeah, for all my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I know who you are. I can see you through the analytics. Thank you so much. And for my veterans, welcome back. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and why not share, okay? <laughs> so guys, this is going to be a very quick video. Like, um, I'm about to get ready for bed honestly but i did take a trip to sephora and i got a couple of goodies okay so i got a couple of just perfume scents i like to like test them out try them out to see if they smell any good um not a fan favorite of this one i'll show it to you right now Okay, I'm not going to repeat it because it's obviously, I don't know what's going on with like the name on this one. But apparently this particular brand has like multiple um, options in terms of like scents. So make sure you pick the right one. Some of them are only available online. Some of them are in the store and where I live, they're very limited. So although I saw it online, they didn't have it in a store. So I said, well, I'll give it a shot and they didn't have a sample so I said all right let me just try it out but when I got home I did try it out and I don't even want to spray it it smells like um old Sally Mae <laughs> like it, a very <laughs> it smells like a very mature scent okay I will say that like my grandmama would enjoy this scent it's not awful, but it's getting there. It, it's just not for me. Like, this is definitely great for bingo, though. If you go into bingo, this is where it's at, okay? So, again, this is the brand. It's a hard no for me. But if you like those really old vintage scents, go for it. This particular one is called M. Mm, so, it's just M's all the way across. I don't recommend I don't recommend it at all. <laughs> I don't know how much I paid for this, but it is what it is. I don't have the receipt it's somewhere, but it's a, it's a hard no. I, in fact, it's going back. I, I can't do it. This one here is um Seven Virtues. So I'm sure you guys have tried this in the past, but if you're new to Seven Virtues, they typically have a better variety. I have a big bottle, which I just ran out of, but I wanted to try other ones. This one is the Vanilla Woods. So good. Vanilla Woods, if you're like into like musky smells, oh my gosh. This smells so freaking good, honestly. And you can always blend it, blend it with like Ebony Woods. I know, um, Zara used to sell Ebony Woods a long time ago. You might be able to get it online. But the last time I went to the store, I did not see it there. So Ebony Woods and Vanilla Woods mixed together. Uh, let me show you how Ebony Woods look. This is how. It's actually Ebony Wood. But this is how it looks. Very simple bottle. And this is uh, pretty big. I don't know how many ounces this is, but... It's got to be bigger than the other one. How many ounces is this? You see, it don't tell you the ounces. Not that I see. But you can see the size comparison. And this is way cheaper. The Ebony Wood is way cheaper than the Vanilla Woods. But the Vanilla Woods is where it's at. The Ebony Woods smell good too, but you got to get that from Zara. Mm, the mix together is like yum, yum, yum. We walking outside smelling like a whole snack, boo. It is where it is at. But anyway, back to the seven virtues. These came in like minis. I hope it's not hard to see. It might be. I'm playing with new lights. But anyway, I'm going to tell you the names of them anyway. First one on the list is Ebony Woods. I'm sorry, Vanilla Woods. See, you got me all twisted up. Yeah, so these are sample size. They come like this. I just sprayed it on me, so I don't need to spray it again. 
but this smells so good i told y'all but you see how small it is perfect to put in your bag so good to put in your bag and you can just pop it in there or put it in your bag or put it somewhere else this one here is called Co coconut sun this one smells really good what i think it was about a hundred dollars a bottle for this size if not a little bit more there's one two three four five samples that's five hundred dollars <laughs> so choose wisely i say vanilla woods and coconut sun is definitely thumbs up coconut sun just smells like a burst of coconut so if you're really into coconuts definitely get that one um, blackberry lily another sample size yeah let's see how that smells mm -hmm. that smells like a nice it's not overwhelming about blueberries because it feels like it smells like it has other undertones in there I just can't put my finger on it but it doesn't smell overwhelming be like um blackberry not blueberry Ooh, ciao. All right, next one is the uh, Santel Vanille, I guess it's called. So I'm gonna assume it's, assuming it smells like a little bit vanilla. I don't really use Santel. I know like a lot of girls do, but I haven't gotten around to it. Um, I wanna say it's a little more harder on a Santel since I, have, I haven't smelled that before. It's, it's definitely more of a, a mature scent. I would wear that to work. I wouldn't wear it to hang out with my girls or on a date. Absolutely not. Me personally. No shade. And then the last one is called Lotus Pear. Another sample size. Let's see. I'm running out of space here. But let's try up here. That's nice. I'll wear that with the girls. Definitely with the girls. With the girls with the Lotus Pear, the Santel Vanilla to work. Blackberry Lily could be an everyday scent. Uh, Coconut Sun, everyday scent. Vanilla Woods, definitely date night. Spray it all up in here, okay? All everywhere, okay? For sure. But it's good to get the samples because you could take it around and you know, it's not just a one-time spray. You can see how it works with your chemistry and you don't have to, you know, commit to a hundred dollar bottle of like perfume. I want to say it was like about a hundred dollars, if not a little bit more, but they can add up. Okay. Like perfume ain't cheap. I'm sure you can get it from other sites. I've seen other sites pop up, but it's a personal preference. I usually just go to Sephora because if I don't like it. It's an easy return. <laughs> like that other one is going to be an easy return for sure. But yeah, that was all I had to say, guys. Um, I will show you the baby bump. Uh, but, you know, I am, like I said, getting ready for bed. And uh, this dress ain't the longest. So I'll just leave it to you like that. And um, I am going to the doctor. I want to say at the end of this week or next week i have to go back so i'll give you guys an update on the baby and stuff like that um i did sign up for some lamaz classes online through the hospital that i'm going through so i'm excited my first class is tomorrow my husband and i are going to take it together and um it's a two-day class it is four hours each so it's very intense each day <laughs> i don't know why they they're doing it like this but i'll keep you guys posted with that uh but uh we were supposed to actually have class today but one woman got admitted to the hospital it's like six couples or at least six people with three couples right so one lady got admitted to the hospital and the other lady had to go to the hospital for some type of emergency i don't know what that was about and I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm a little concerned because I'm like, 
I thought I was supposed to be taking this test, this class like weeks ago. But now that I'm 32, I'm like, is it? They did say like take it towards the end of your pregnancy. So maybe like that these ladies are taking it like at the end. But honestly, I think after like 32 weeks, you could really go in for the littlest thing. Like even a checkup, they can like literally hold you there if like anything pops up. So you just never know, right? So I was just like, that, that. I say that to say this, at that moment when she said that they was at the hospital, like I was like, things are getting real. You know what I'm saying? Like we literally have less than a month. Okay, but it's a little bit more than a month. <laughs> it's just a tad splash um, left to go. And it just feels like it's just becoming so real. And I feel like he's so low down there. Like he just is trying to like be like, what's up? <laughs> you know, popping out. So it's just, we're excited. I am like overjoyed. Our family is really excited. We're really excited. You know, it's our first baby. I don't know. It's just feeling so real. So like I said, I'm going to try to bring y'all in as much as possible. But anyway, I don't want to get too far off of this particular uh, vlog. Those were all the perfumes that I had. Again, this is the Seven Virtues. And then that other one is really not worth mentioning again. But hey, for those that are interested in that type of perfume, this is what it is. I'm not going to say it because I don't want to be flagged. I didn't make the name. Don't get the messenger, okay? <laughs> anyway, don't forget again to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will speak to you guys soon. Bye.